A special interview tonight with the Waynesfield Goshen graduate, current track and field coach at the defending Division II national champions, Tiffin University, Gray Horn, in charge of the sprinters, the hurdles, and what you did, the multi-sport athletes. Yes, sir. Tomorrow's the first home meet of the season. How excited are you for indoor track to be back? Well, we're really excited. Um, it's a special team we have this year. Uh, we're well-rounded all the way from throwers, jumpers, uh, sprinters, and distance runners. It's really not a missing piece to the puzzle. Uh, this year. Um, we won a national title last year and I have reason to believe that we have a better team this year than we did last year. So wow. uh, we're excited. Um, first home meet tomorrow. Uh, opening meet in Finley last week went really well. So we're just hoping to keep the momentum rolling forward. All different types of schools will converge on Tiffin tomorrow. In winter track or indoor track, particularly in this area, some Division Three, Division Two. Yep. How does that mix? Well, yeah, it's um, you'll see some Division One schools mm -hmm. uh, pop up at some of our meets also. And the good thing about track and I guess how it's kind of unique uh, in a sense is that it's, you know, more based on the individual performance, but okay. then uh, you can also run into Division One teams also. So it's kind of unique. You can't see a Division Two school play a Division One school in football, but you can see it in track and field, and I think that makes it pretty exciting. I know Bluffton making the trip up to Tiffin. What is yeah. it about Tiffin that you guys were able to... To grab a national championship last year. You know, it's uh, it, all, in all aspects, our coaching staff, yeah. uh, the beautiful facility that we have that, we, nice, built, that we built in 2012, absolutely. Uh, uh, one of the most state-of-the-art surfaces in the world. It's a fast track, and uh, it's, it's really a big reason why we've been able to pull it together uh, and build a championship culture. Uh, it's, you know, the athletic department very much supports us as well. So, uh, and, you know, sometimes you don't see that in other schools. So having the athletic department support really helps us. What makes it a fast track? Um, it's called Mondo. Uh, okay. it's, it's the same surface that was used in the last three Olympic Games. So um, it's, yeah, I think we're one of maybe five or six schools in uh, the United States that have an indoor facility uh, with it. So, so that's what makes it unique, I guess. As a runner, can you explain kind of what that feels like to run on? Something about it just gives you something back. Okay. I don't know. Uh, my, both of my PRs in the 60 meter dash and the 60 meter hurdles are on a Mondo track and outdoor on the 100 meter dash as well. So uh, I think a lot of athletes can say the same. So it uh, makes it unique, but uh, yeah, we're happy that we have that up there. This past year, the Olympics, of course, happening, all the, right. the track and field. It's when the country gets into track and field. Yep. We love it here at WSN, all the high school broadcasts. Your cousin Joe Horn always joins me on the, on the state broadcast. You're always roaming around getting your recruiting done down there at Jesse yeah, Owens Memorial Stadium. But what was that like to watch the Olympics? You know, you were so close four years mm -hmm. ago in, in the trials uh, to see this on the world stage and people get excited for track and field. Yeah, absolutely. The Olympic years are always fun. Uh, never really changes for me. Track is a you know, 24 <laughs> hour day, 365 days a year type of thing. But uh, to, for it to get the attention that it deserves yeah. uh, on one given year of the four, it's it's always fun, um, especially for the athletes, because you definitely see the best in people come out during that year. So we always look forward to it. What have you learned about yourself as you become a coach? Uh, it's, it's been a challenge. Okay. It's been, you know, uh, it definitely tests your patience. <laughs> it tests your patience, but it, um, it's more so just switching your passion uh, to a different gear and just kind of going on a different mission. So uh, it's very, very similar to being an athlete, but in a way you kind of have to adapt. Yeah, and you still get to compete Correct. Those through yeah. your athletes, so it is a little bit different. Yeah, live vicariously through them in a sense. When you were at Waynesfield Goshen, did you ever think college track and field, I want to coach? Was that your goal? I think I always kind of in a way knew that I would get into coaching, uh, yeah. mostly because of my grandfather who's been coaching yeah. track for nearly 50 years now and was just inducted into the uh, Ohio High School Coaches Hall of Fame. Yeah. So uh, having that figure to look up to, I kind of, I think I always knew that I'd probably get into something like this. So it makes sense. What were those conversations like these, this past year with Grandpa Joe? Grandpa Joe and I will just sit down and just start talking track and the conversation could just go on and on and on. Uh, some of the people that would maybe sit in and listen in on these conversations, they might think we're crazy because I'll have no idea what we're talking about, but uh, we'll just sit down and have a 40 minute conversation about the discus unexpectedly. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's always fun talking with them. We learn a lot from each other. Long day tomorrow. How long will the event go? How, how can the public get there? Uh, we'll start at around noon, okay. uh, probably finish around 6 o'clock okay, uh, at, at the Tiff and Hemminger Center. So uh, it'll be an exciting day with some really fast teams. So uh, we're looking forward to it. All right. Well, thanks for taking some time on your Friday night. Could have gotten a little sleep, get prepared for tomorrow. Uh, that's but fine. Thanks for having me. It was a pleasure. Bet. National champion coach Gray Horn. Great to catch up with him. Up next, we have